In June 2025, just as tensions between Israel and Iran exploded into open conflict, the ground beneath Iran unexpectedly shook. A 5.1 magnitude earthquake struck perilously close to one of the country's most sensitive nuclear facilities. It was deep, it was sudden, and it was far too precise to ignore. At first glance, it appeared natural, a mere tectonic tremor. But some experts began asking uncomfortable questions. Could this have been something else? A covert nuclear test, perhaps? Not all earthquakes are acts of nature. Some begin in silence and end with a mushroom cloud. The seismic signatures looked eerily familiar. The timing, the location, the silence from Iranian officials, all too reminiscent of an event the world had witnessed before. To understand what might have happened beneath Iran, we need to go back nearly a decade to the mountains of North Korea. Welcome to the Pungiri nuclear test site, hidden deep in the mountains of Northeast North Korea. It has three tunnel entrances, the South Portal, East Portal, and West Portal. Through these serpentine tunnels, a thermonuclear device was moved deep under Mount Mantapsin. Once positioned, the tunnels were sealed to prevent radioactive fallout. Then came the blast. A massive underground detonation occurred more than 1,400 feet beneath the summit. The explosion instantly vaporized granite rock in a chamber the size of a football stadium. The force fractured the surrounding rock up to 1,000 feet wide. Seismic models suggested the mountain lifted by 6 feet, shifted outward, and then collapsed back, lowering the summit by nearly 20 inches. The resulting 6.3 magnitude earthquake shook towns across the Chinese border. Furniture rattled. Cracks appeared in buildings. Students were dismissed from school mid-exam. This was not just a tremor. It was a message. Conducted on September 3, 2017, this was North Korea's most powerful nuclear test ever. State media announced it was a successful two-stage hydrogen bomb, personally ordered by Kim Jong-un. North Korea, of course, released no technical details, so scientists had to rely on remote data. Estimates placed the bomb's yield between 120 and 300 kilotons of TNT, over 20 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb. The detonation site was located using seismic data from more than 100 Chinese stations, confirming it was deep under Mount Mantapsan. This wasn't China's first success in tracking such events. Their seismologists have pinpointed every North Korean nuclear test since 2006. But the 2017 blast raised new alarms. Repeated underground detonations had destabilized the entire mountain. Geophysicists coined the term Tired Mountain Syndrome to describe this phenomenon. Repeated nuclear explosions weaken the rock, open fractures, and alter tectonic stress lines. Satellite imagery showed clear signs, landslides, deformation, and surface collapse. Sections of Mount Mantapsin visibly sank. But there's more. Just 72 miles from the test site lies Mount Pektu, a dormant supervolcano. Scientists warned that shockwaves from large detonations could agitate its magma chambers, potentially awakening a sleeping giant. While still theoretical, the risk is real. The mountain didn't settle. Over the next eight months, more than 10 microquakes were recorded within a six-mile radius of the test site, each measured between 2.1 and 3.4 magnitude, too frequent, too localized to be natural. This wasn't seismic noise. It was the Earth adjusting. North Korea's tests followed a worrying trend. Since withdrawing from the Non-Proliferation Treaty in 2003, the country ramped up both frequency and yield. Starting in 2006 with a sub kiloton blast and escalating to an estimated 250, 300 kiloton bomb by 2017. That's a tenfold increase in explosive power within a decade. In May 2018, just ahead of a U.S.-North Korea summit, the regime staged a dramatic demolition of the Pungiri site. Six timed explosions collapsed three major tunnels as hand-picked international journalists watched from 1,600 feet away. The display was loud, dusty, and precise. But was it final? By 2023, satellite images revealed renewed construction activity at the site. It appears North Korea could still resume testing, whether by reusing other portals 
or building new facilities entirely. After all, tunnels can be destroyed, but shockwaves cannot be hidden. So when an earthquake struck near Iran's nuclear site in 2025, the world remembered Mantapsin. The depth, the suddenness, the silence, all too familiar. Was it natural? Perhaps. But as history teaches us, sometimes what shakes the earth isn't what lies beneath, but what humankind chooses to bury there. If this story gave you chills, or even made you think twice, give it a like. Subscribe for more stories that uncover the hidden forces shaping our world. Because knowledge is power, and the planet deserves both.